Happy Whip It Wednesday, kittens. Um, coming to you from my new house in New York, finally. Um, it's not completely set up yet. I'm still kind of messy, but we're mostly settled into the space and things are good. I thought I'd do a video blog today and uh, show you what I've been working on. I'm still working on my color affection. I I think I've been talking about it on the blog for, oh goodness, at least a month now. Um, I'm getting there. Yesterday I completed section 5 of 10 of the third striping section and it's starting to get long. It's a little hard to work on and I'm discovering I'm not as in love with my Addy Lace Click Turbos as I used to be. For this project in particular, the joins, which I don't know if you can see them, it's a very small ridge right here. They're catching on this cashmere silk lace yarn I'm using, and it's really, really annoying. I've been trying to find my size for fixed circulars from Addy Lace, and I just can't find them. They were here when we first got in the house, and I have not seen them since. I'm going to continue looking for them though because I'm hoping to transfer over to that needle and things will go much, much more quickly at that point, I think, without catching on the joints constantly. But anyway, um, I'll try to show it to you as best as I can from the webcam. You can see here section one into section two and section three here where the third color's in. It's starting to look pretty nice. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with my color choices. They're looking a little bit more cool on camera than they actually are if you warm them up just a little bit that this kind of fuchsia looking color is actually more of a hot pink. Um, you'll get a better idea. Plus this color that looks very blue is actually more of a bright Caribbean teal color. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking it so far. It's very soft. And, it's a super easy to memorize pattern. It's great for when I'm reading blogs or things during the day or when I want to just quickly knit a row or two of nothing but garter, squishy, squishy garter. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm liking it and I'm excited about it, but I'm to the point where I'd like to move on to something else. I really, really want to start on more cardigans and get ready because as I mentioned in one of my last posts, it's getting nice and chilly here, especially in the evenings and in the morning. You can definitely tell fall is on its way to my part of the country anyway. I think my daughter's about to interrupt us. Yeah, she's coming. If I manage to edit correctly, this is the point where I took out some footage of my daughter deciding to come out and dance around mostly naked in front of the camera. I live with an almost four-year-old life is not boring. So anyway, I was talking about another project I've had on hook, I guess this one would be because it's a crochet project. It's a pattern I've tried to tackle many times before, and for whatever reason, I can never finish one of these. I'm going to link a bunch of these in the blog post just because, um, I'm not really a podcaster yet per se, so I don't really feel like interjecting notes and stuff, although it looks like I can do that kind of thing now. But anyway, I started some of these and I thought they might be nice to have on hand for impromptu birthday parties or little gifts or what have you. I'm using the leftovers from the boys' socks and so far it's kind of cute, so I'm hoping that it'll work out. See, other than that, I had mentioned that I want to start a cardigan soon, and I'm thinking I'm going to start a new pattern from, I'm not sure if it's Chic Knits or Chick Knits. Um, there's a new pattern I think called, I can't remember if it's Uma or Ume, and it's a pretty basic cardigan, and I think it'll be a very functional piece, and I think it would be beautiful in this... Twisted Fiber Arts Olivia, which is 100% super fine, organic, 
merino and ghost. It's very squishy. I don't tend to take it out because I get really distracted by it. She gave me these huge skeins. I had ordered them, I think, at six of them at 230 yards a piece. And she sent me these three gigantic ones. Really huge. As big as my head. Huge. <laughs> and yeah, I think it'll be very pretty in this. So I'm hoping that maybe in a week or two, you'll see something more interesting than the never ending color affection on needles. And I'm sure you're all getting pretty sick of seeing me complain about it too, so. Anyway, I think that's about all I really have to talk about right now, kittens. I'm still in the midst of trying to get set up for my move. I know that probably sounds really long to a lot of you, but when we first got here and we got our house, uh, the mister didn't realize that he was going to get thrown in and working very long days right away. So pretty much he hasn't been able to help with a lot of the stuff and now he's at uh, desert training. He's been gone for over a week now. Two weeks come tomorrow actually, almost two weeks. And he won't be back until the end of the month. So it's just me and the two kids and the dog. Which is kind of crazy, I know, but yeah. So, I'm a little distracted and rambly, but this took less time than writing out a blog post. So I hope you all are having a great Wednesday and you're having fun. Your kids are getting back to school, I'm sure, if you have kids. My son just went back today, finally, so my home is a lot more quiet and a lot less chaotic than usual. Minus streaking almost four-year-olds running through the background. Um, yeah, things are pretty good. So I will hopefully write another blog post soon, or if I do more videos, maybe I'll start taking notes so I'm not quite so rambly and off-topic. Public speaking is not a strength of mine. Anyway, happy Wednesday, kittens. Talk to you some other time.